Oh, hey there, everybody. Welcome on back to Animal Crossing. And, uh, I don't know what this intro is. I really don't have any idea. Outside of the fact that I just, I don't know. Here I am talking. That's, uh, that's basically how my videos go. Anyway, I wanted to get back into this a little quick, uh, mostly because it is getting late, and I have a feeling that Tom Nook is gonna scream at me for the fact that I haven't shown up at all, all day yet today, because I've been doing other projects. So, that being said, let's, uh, jump back into this. I don't know when this is gonna even get posted. This is technically, like, day two of my, uh, time with this game. So, we'll see. Oh, it's, a uh, it's announcer, Nook. Uh, you're a little quiet there. Okay, there we go. Oh, dear. So, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. It's okay. Look, I understand audio issues day and night. As a content creator, there is one part about this job. Job. Kind of. I don't know. It's something that's there. The part that I hate, it's audio. Apparently my voice, too. I'll shut up. Hello, everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, goings-on, and such. Hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Hollow... The... The Hollow Airport. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't think this through. Huh. <sighs> is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all. <laughs> oh, no, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day. So please do drop by for a look, which also means you're probably overworking those poor people. Why would you do this? Why? Why would you do Especially with an airline. Do you not understand that we have laws against that? I guess it doesn't exist in Animal Crossing land. Oh, I do have one other item to share, and it, too, is a Whopper. Hmm? As if this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on the Hollow. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study the Hollow. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all from me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious The Hollow living. Having the in the name isn't working out very well, is it? Oh well, we're running with this shtick. All right, so I, I still have the hat on here that I just received. Uh, still got the umbrella that's here too. Nook shopping, yes, I will take that for sure. Mom! I, I know where my mother is. Why why in the world? How is your new life treating you? Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth? Washing behind your ears? Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me. Mom. Well, I will certainly plant it. If there's a possibility to plant it. Hi, Sylvia. Hey there, night flyer. How goes, Boeing? Let's talk. Whoa, sweet umbrella. Wait, did you make that with the DIY recipe I gave you? Great job, way to knock it out of the park. You must really like it to be using it this late. Hey, I ain't gonna judge. You do you, boing. Well, well, it's, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, first thing I'm gonna do, uh, one, let's open this up. It's peaches! Oh, we are totally planting peaches. I am not eating those. We're gonna, we're gonna have a, a trove of peach trees. Is that a thing? A trove of peach trees? Oh, well, it is now. Okie dokie. I was hoping to get this uh, outfit before the uh, the event was over. I'm glad I had the time to do so. Also, last night, I broke my... Uh, I, I got to see at least how far everything goes with the uh, the tools. I did break the bug net. Uh, I did break the uh, fishing pole. Uh, I did actually have to make another flimsy axe, because I think I was just going a little uh, crazy on the trees. Yeah, probably hitting the button a little bit too often. Oh, well. Uh, let me also go and... I don't think I have, like, a storage... No, I don't have a storage thing yet. That's a partial problem, actually. Because I need to get some more stuff, and otherwise the only other thing I could do is sell or toss it in a recycle bin, and I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, <laughs> hello. Uh, first things first. Let's check the Nook Stop, because I do want to check... Uh, we'll award your bonus miles two days in a row, 80 miles. Okie doke. I always forget about that. It's another reason I wanted to log in, because I know that there's some, uh, some daily things that they have that are going on here, so. 
I don't want to leave it go for too long. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. Too bad it's not. Hello there. Uh, we got something. We got some more Nook Miles. And they're basically achievements. That's the one thing that I uh, forgot to mention, I think, yesterday when I was going through my first uh, my first video there. I, I didn't mention that this is basically an achievement system. So that's pretty cool. You, you never had that in uh, previous Animal Crossing games. So I like that. It's a little uh, little nicer to work out, I think. Just to, just to keep it driving a little bit further, just to keep going, etc. Uh, you know what? Let's go talk to Blathers because I think I could probably I could probably give him some of the uh, bugs and everything that I have, even though I have very few. Uh, oh, I see a stick. I want the stick. We're still gonna be cleaning up the island and everything when we see sticks and everything, because one, they're very handy for crafting. There's a lot of things that way for crafts. I did figure out if you uh, sit here and ju that would be my life. Okay, then. That's like the most stressful part of this game. But the fact that the first... <laughs> I was sitting there going, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate this. And I'm going to have the wasp nest drop down in my face. Oh, I hate being right. I really hate being right. Oh, well. Let's go and acquire said wasp's nest. Yeah, if you run and hide, you don't get stung. And it's usually not that big a problem. But if you sit here and you shake the tree a bunch, then yeah, you can get some more sticks. So it made crafting a lot easier on me too. Because uh, that way at least I can I can get a bunch of sticks so I don't have to wait for like next day or anything like that. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to get the shovel yet. I assume that'll probably come like today, tomorrow, whenever. But uh, for now, this is where we put Blathers. And this is his tent. You can tell because of the owl over top of everything. Shut up, car. Mmm, this is a nice little tent. Little archaeological thing over here. Nice little desk to sit in. I'm gonna sit in your chair, Blathers. Sorry. Now I'm taking up your desk. Nope. Okay. Hi, buddy. Blathers is one of my favorite uh, characters in all of Animal Crossing, but I imagine he is for many people. Who? a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you are Grizzly, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research... Truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and, henceforth, dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Mr. Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution. But fossils, too. Of course, you always want fossils. You... How, how many times am I going to go to a different place and suddenly there's a fossil that Blathers will want to have because there's fossils, which is weird because you don't really dig for them anyway. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say. I can't just hop over it, you say. <laughs> Silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Grizzly, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. Is it a bridge? Because I think it's a bridge. There, you see, with wood gathered from the hollow, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole could be used to propel yourself across the river. Up and over you go. Who do you... Oh, okay. I sent DIY schematics from a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, Grizzly, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long. <laughs> it's like it's his name. But let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must exhibit more items to exhibit. I must exhibit. Wow, thanks, Brain. I must acquire more items to exhibit. That's the way that that sentence reads. Fifteen more, to be precise. 
I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I am here to help you. Let's make a donation. I'm going to go through this process here real quick just to get some of this stuff done. But uh, oh, we only have a couple anyway. Well, this isn't too bad. Eek, I'm off. The horror, the repugnance. Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. The bugs, I do to test them. But still, there's so much I can... There's... Much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Please, tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> many think the moth is strictly a nocturnal creature. Alas, no. These frightful, fluttering beasts have been known to haunt the daylight and twilight hours, too. Thus, there is no time of day one might escape the moth trait I dislike most of all. Those feathery antennae. The mere thought of them gives my feathers goosebumps. And I'm no goose. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Oh, that entire phrase. That's just blathers in a nutshell. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else you would, uh, could be donated. And if so, might I take it for you? With this, we need 13 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Ooh. So I guess at that point we'll have uh, 20 overall things to display, which is pretty nice, uh, effectively because of the five that I gave uh, Nook early on, and uh, uh -huh. can I, can I, no? Okay, we need a shovel, post haste. How do I get a shovel? Tom, how do I get a shovel? Somebody tell me how to get a shovel. You can't just hold shiny objects in front of me like that. Come on, I'm like, I'm like a crow in that respect. I need to see what the shiny is. Ah, Grizzly, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, what should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, I don't mean to rush you. You are no help at all. None at all. But thanks for trying, I guess. Let's check this out, see if I happened to get... Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, let's make it. Awesome. I honestly did not realize that I did get a hold of a uh, shovel. So this is good. This is good. You can't use this item right now. Uh, yeah, that's that's fair. I'm not in the correct place at all. Okay, shovel is... Ooh. I still never worked out that you have to like stand still when you switch items. Hadouk! What is this? Look, I dug up 1,000 bells. Oh. That's what that is. I hope there wasn't anything else in there that I just dunked. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no, that's not what I, mm. okay. So stone, stone, ingot. And I don't think there was anything that I could actually use the ingot on yet though, but this is a iron one. Okay, cool. That's very cool. So I guess at that point he has a horn dynasted. He also has the tilapia, which I know we donated yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna put these away. That'll give us some extra bells. Uh, I think that is about all I can do with inventory management on that one. Realistically, if I'm at all honest, I was more curious of uh, getting recording for Blather showing up over anything else. So like I said, he's one of my favorite characters overall within the game. Got some more bells, because bells are always a good thing. It frees up our inventory here a little bit. We do need a bug net, and we need a fishing pole. We are out of both of those. I think it was actually, unfortunately, a little bit of mis a mistake of my end to, uh, yeah. Because we don't have anything that's, like, crafting, uh, able yet for... Crafting able. Sure, that was, a that was a really good way to put that. Craftable yet that I can, uh, stow stuff in. And I don't think I was given any... No, I wasn't given anything back there. Unless, like, the cardboard box counts as being able to store something in. But I don't think so. I wasn't able to really interact with that back at home. Uh, we do have this vaulting pole. This is just another thing to make for a little bit. I made a vaulting pole. Let's keep crafting. Because again, we need a fishing rod. And we need a bug net. Assuming I can still make it. I can. Oh, 
Okay, that marks us off on that end. We've only got a whole two spaces left though. That's not good. I'm assuming I can use the recycling box all the same to like stow stuff in for now, but it, uh, it does worry me a little bit. I don't like the idea of just tossing stuff in there and then I forget about it and t pardon me? Oh, that's right. I don't know if they changed it, but one of the... Yeah, what in the world? Huh. You have got to be kidding me. Hey! What do you want from me, ghost? This is the end for me, isn't it? This is how I go. Huh? A human. A real live human? I've been on this island for a long time. But I've never seen a human. Oh, you just moved here? Oh, okay. Well, that explains everything. Let me introduce myself. My name is Wisp. Nice to meet you. I... Well, I'll just be honest with you. I love the darkness, especially nighttime. But I'm afraid of ghosts. Oh, this little run-in with you has... Hems and me all shaken up. You scared some pieces of my spirit right out of me. Looks like they flew off where... Uh, when we <laughs> bumped into each other. There's no way I can stay like this. What a pickle. Um, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you maybe collect the pieces of my spirit that flew away? Otherwise, I'll be like this forever, and I cannot deal with that. Please help. I promise there will be something good in it for you. Now, let's see here. There are five pieces of my spirit in all. You should be able to find them floating around the island. You'll need a net to catch them. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Okay, so that kind of works out because we did just make a new net. But we're finding uh, new NPCs here already. That's pretty cool. Wee. Apparently I'm terrible at fishing. Now this I would assume might be more of like a freshwater thing. Ah, I caught a carp. Yep. Wee. Got a black bass, but I can't carry any more items. What do I want to get rid of? This is clay. I need those stones. We need the axe. Well, I don't like the idea of necessarily getting rid of it, but I think we're going to get rid of it. And otherwise... So many items. Whoop. So this is actually how you get around. Not with a not with a, a thing? Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is something else we'll have to drop for now. I'm just hoping that these things will actually... Oh, well, that's disappointing on my end. Yeah, what was I saying? I'm just hoping that these spirit pieces will actually stack. Because if they don't, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a big problem for me. There are so many items. E. Wait. There we go. I cut a wisp, uh, spirit piece. Brr, it's kind of cold. Well, it is death, so, you know, that's a thing. All right, so we get the general idea with what's going on here. I am going to shut up for a little while and see if I can find all of these. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Okay, it's a good thing they're also stacking. So anyway, yeah, like I said, I'll be, I'll be back here. I want to find all these and then we'll meet back up with Wisp. I think I figured out what Blathers was talking about with, like, finding another part of the island to look over for fossils. Because, like, looking around here, there's a lot of spots that the shovel are good. Like, right here, for instance. That's a good one. Uh, the only reason I'm not really digging anything up at the moment is because I have no space. But, okay. Back on to uh, trying to find Wisp's parts. These parts seem to really move around, too, quite a bit another thing that's taken me a little while to actually find them all. Let's check the message in a bottle. Oh, okay. What's up, Mega Builder? Way to flex those finder muscles. There's a cool DIY recipe on the back uh, for making the best muscle mirror you've ever seen. It makes a makes it a breeze to visualize your best and buffest style. Go try it on. Wooden table mirror. Huh, okay. I do like the DIY stuff, though, quite a bit. Just the added element of having the, the crafting materials mixed in is kind of nice. Instead of just, like, going and finding conch shells and then turning them in for money of some kind or, you know, selling them for something else. It really expands on the system that they did in New Leaf, which uh, 
I always felt needed a little bit more of a expansion. Just the idea of like, let me one of the one of the sheep. Now I forget their names. I'm sorry. They would got it. They would uh, craft you a, a item that you could use for either uh, settling in the house or just in general. Uh, but that really expands on that system quite a bit. What? Why did you go behind the tree? I want to like make sure people can see you, Wisp. All right, there we go. You did it. You found all the pieces of my spirit. Come on, hand them over. Hurry. Here you go. Perfect. That's all five pieces. Ta-da! Ah, back to normal. Whew, thank goodness. And thank you. I feel wonderful. Oh, right. I need to give you the reward I promised. What's it gonna be? Well, who doesn't love furniture? I can get you something you don't have yet, or I can get you something expensive. So what's it gonna be? Uh, let's get something new. Okay, you got it. Something new. Something you don't have yet. Well, whether or not you've already got a lot of stuff, I think I have just the item for you. Here, have a table lamp. Eh, I'll put this item in your pocket, okay? Let me just say, I hope our paths cross again sometime. Until then, farewell. Get those cup miles. We are over 5,000, so we can actually... Uh, <laughs> good thing it wasn't over 9,000. Uh, we can actually go ahead and turn those into Nook and get our first thing paid off, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you happen to encounter one of the island's secrets, maybe just keep it to yourself. We don't want to scare anyone away from here. Pretty sure that's in your island contract. Ah, so there are more secrets, too, that we have to find. Stop that! Okay. And the Critterpedia kind of really expands further on, like, what we're doing with, uh, with Blathers then as well. And I really do like how they expanded this system. Like, this is, this is really nice. Having it actually early is also very, very helpful. Uh, actually, that wooden table mirror looks very nice. And we got a use for that nugget now, so I can almost just make an exchange for that using my, uh, using what I have. So that's not bad. That is not bad. I guess we also know why there's the rescue services around there now, too, so that's another, uh, nifty little bit. Oh, crap. Uh, at this point, oh, I need a... I need a slingshot for those presents. It's not the first one I've actually encountered. Yes, I know. I'm just walking right by the bugs and everything. Uh, crap. At this point, I think, uh, I think that's about it. I'm going to just run around and see if I find anything else. I'll keep recording for now, but yeah. Mm, about my moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees. Very well. You owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much! Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Yes, yes. You're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh! That wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? <laughs> uh, classic salesman gimmicks. It's fine, I guess. It's great! Is that so? That's wonderful to hear. I am so pleased to see that you're enjoying your new island life. Indeed, establishing a sort of utopia was one of the main aims of this endeavor, along with profits, of course. But speaking of this lovely paradise, which are you already... Uh, which you are already enjoying, couldn't it be even better? Yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Grizzly, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook shop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. I want to say gateway, not getaway. Let's actually check that out real fast, too. Your account's now registered for Miles Redemption services. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage program. Thank you. 
Please select the following. Rede redeem Nook Miles. We got 430 of them, but that's fine. Uh, pretty good tools recipes. That's okay. What is Miles Plus? Oh no. There's another level to this system. Great. Totally what I need to see. Also, the fact that everything is branded with Nook Ink. Oh god. This is feeling more and more like Jurassic Park every time I go through it. I guess I will keep trying to look around a little bit here. I could also call on some help for that one, but uh, I'd rather not just yet. Anyway. Ah, uh, hello, hello, Grizzly. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, about my home. Oh, Grizzly, have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward into, a com into comfort and luxury. As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan of the amount of 98,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Yes, let's do it. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. And by the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list? Uh, eight different color. There are four other options. Choose from one of these or one of the previous colors. Yes, because we're sticking everything with green because channel colors and everything. You, know, you get it. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment. Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Grizzly. Now, when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Aha! Now it makes sense, you squirrely redemption points person, you. Ugh. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That's all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? Tomorrow. Challenges for everything, and you're going to have it ready tomorrow, which is uh, technically four hours from now. Three and a half hours from now. But we know a date in Animal Crossing actually starts at like, I don't know, eight o'clock or something like that. Anyway, I'm checking the time. I can actually stop at this point, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, again, I really appreciate you guys kind of sitting here and watching and kind of playing this game with me a little bit. Uh, if you guys have Animal Crossing or anything, I'm, uh, I'm posting my uh, Nintendo ID over on Twitter once in a while, but I'll try to get that down in the uh, the comments down below. But I hope you guys uh, are having a good time with just watching me play this. Uh, this is different for me. I actually started as a Let's Play channel, but having it where I could do a little bit of this, even on the side with a title like this and not post it all the time, yeah, that's... It's going to be nice for me. It's a little different. But anyway, we, we got to see Blathers. We were introduced to a new character uh, in the ghost form, uh, which I, I guess might have come out at night. I'm not too, too sure on that one. We did get a the the new Yukata that I kind of wanted to have. A bunch of a bunch of stuff that is different for me that I have need to go through. Uh, I, I'm going to go onto that other side of the island, check out the fossils and everything, see if I can get them to Blathers. Uh, but I still need to figure out a way to store stuff. I guess I'll just start with utilizing the recycling bin back in residential services, but oh well. Anyway, I will leave this here, and to all of you, no matter when or where you are, I'll see you next space time. Take care of yourselves.